So one day I was playing Armory Forger with my good buddy Bohani and we heard another player in the game say We never had a proper extraction shooter for Xbox. After he said that I was like, wait a minute, is this for real? I did some investigation and I found out that Xbox players only have a few games that can call themselves extraction shooters. And honestly, none of them are of the hardcore military shooter kind. We got Vigor, a third person more on the casual side extraction shooter. Then we got the Division games, if you play in the Dark Zone, Hunt Showdown, which is a totally different extraction shooter than the usual one, and Call of Duty DMZ mode, which apparently became pay to win. The most typical and this genre defining game that everyone knows would probably be Escape from Tarkov, but that's available only on PC. So when you think about it, Xbox players do not have any options for a hardcore extraction shooter. PlayStation people are kind of the same boat as well. To my understanding, such a game would need to have a few maps or at least one huge map with different locations and POIs, an inventory system, clothing, armor, weapon and their customization options, some enemy AI on the map, a safe house where you could stash your gear, some missions that you could do while raiding and at least a bit realistic character, gun movement and shooting. None of the games I mentioned previously have all of that going for themselves. They all got some sort of a twist that makes them fall out of the typical extraction shooter category. But what if I told you that console gamers, at least on Xbox, do have an option that is really close to the feel that Escape from Tarkov can deliver? That game is Armory Forger. On the surface, Armory Forger is just a tactical military shooter set in Cold War. But if we dive deeper, a lot of possibilities open up in this game thanks to its modding community, just like with most of other Bohemian Interactive games. This game enables modding not only for PC, but for console as well. The sad part is that Armory Forger is not available on PlayStation. It is playable only on Xbox and PC platforms. You know what is not sad though? That subscribe and like buttons are totally free. So you better press them. The game also has crossplay. So maybe playing the game with a controller if you're on Xbox is not the best option because you're gonna be against people on PC with mouse and keyboard. Even though the game is technically just a showcase of what Arma 4 is going to be once it's released, it is frequently receiving updates and is being improved with each of them. The modding community for the game seems to be growing as well, since there's more and more servers opening up offering something different. One of such examples is a server called Rogue Extract. This server completely transforms the vanilla Armory Forger experience into an extraction shooter type of game. Since the game in itself is a hardcore FPS, where one or two well-placed bullets usually means the end of you, the addition of extraction shooter mechanics into it easily makes the game have that escape from Tarkov feeling. So you spawn on an island with just some clothing, map and a pistol. The area you get dropped in is a safe zone that offers almost all the things your typical extraction shooter's menu would offer. You got a personal bunker that is technically your stash and you can use it to put away all your gear that you scavenge during the raids. Then outside of it, you got some traders where you can spend your money to buy different types of gear, from clothing and medicine to weapons and their attachments. And there's a bank where you can, well, do some pretty straightforward banking things. The best stuff you could get your hands on is not in this area though. The high-end items are only available in the black market, which is not a safe zone. So by traveling there, you are risking all your high-end gear that you would want to sell or the money you are carrying to buy something there. But as they say, high risk, high reward. Once you are ready to head out into a raid, you can head towards the shore and pick any of the available boats that teleport you into the mainland next to some town or a point of interest that you can loot. But be careful, because most of these areas have some AI NPCs roaming around with M4s that can easily one-shot you and they probably don't even need to mention the threat of other players. Running through the buildings you can find some loot in the containers that are usually masked as cupboards or lockers. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any loot scattered around on the ground, so I would suggest that you would thoroughly search through all the containers to make sure you wouldn't miss any of the juicy loot you might find. If you are feeling brave, you can try to take on those NPCs with your pistol. And if you are successful, you're surely gonna be able to get out with at least some basic weapons, military clothing and armor. If you want to get better than the average gear, the map is riddled with high tier military areas that you can travel to and loot as well. These areas have an even higher number of AI NPCs that will try to get you and honestly they are pretty smart. AI can remember the last position they saw you and usually they try to push it. So always keep on the move to have that upper hand. 
Also, since the game has a day-night cycle built into it originally, it is really cool to be able to get on rains during the night time, especially if you were able to get your hands on some night vision goggles. When you're all geared up and decide to leave, you can check the map to find the closest exfil and head towards it. Once you're there, just like in any extraction shooter, expect campers, or as everyone calls them, rats. Those pricks always want to take your victory spots for themselves. When you get in the exfil area, wait a bit and you will get teleported back to the starting island with all your gear and it's up to you to decide what you want to do with it. Stash it in the bunker or sell it to the traders. If you're a good salesman, you can even try selling some worthless piece of junk to other players for their money. Wipe is a thing in the game, so might as well utilize it for your own good, huh? I didn't cover everything the server has to offer though, so I will leave some things for you to find out on your own. As you can see, Rogue Extract server for Arbor Forger really offers an experience that is really close or in some aspects even better than your typical hardcore military extraction shooter. But of course, in some places it does fall short. I haven't really noticed any missions going on in the map all the time to give you that progression feeling, so there's still room for improvement to make the server as enjoyable as possible. I can definitely say though that admins do host events from time to time that can probably replace those missions for you. The server is also doing occasional wipes to keep everything fresh. Cause let's be honest, such gameplay loop, once you got everything you wanted in your stash, just gets boring. They also frequently update their mods and also add some new ones in from time to time. So it's great to see that the server is not abandoned from the development side. Even though this won't fully replace Escape from Tarkov gameplay for people on PC, it can definitely deliver something really close to that experience for Xbox players that never had it. And just to point it out, no. I am not being paid by anyone to make this video. I just found the server really cool and wanted to share my experience on it with everyone. But if some admins are watching this, well, reach out to me. <coughs> Additionally, Armory Forger is not just that. It's probably the best military sandbox video game that enables modders to bring their ideas to players. We already have other community servers on the game like WCS, where you can dive into modern day warfare if you got tired of the vanilla Cold War experience. We got a Wasteland server that is being hosted by the original Wasteland mod creator for Arma 2. And we even got a Z-Mod. Although that one still has a, a long way to go to be really enjoyable. And all of this is also accessible to Xbox players. Considering all that I pointed out in this video, are you going to give Arma Reforger a go, especially if your main gaming platform is Xbox? Maybe you are already playing it. Either way, I would love to hear your thoughts on the game in the comments down below. Please don't forget to drop a like on the video and also share it with anyone who would find this topic interesting. Also, if you want to jump on some games together, make sure to join my Discord through the link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.